Welcome to IDERA Virtual Education for SQL Secure. SQL Secure is a valuable tool for analyzing risks that may exist around your SQL Enterprise environment as well as permission reporting. As part of its analysis, it will take snapshots of all of the different objects that make up your SQL Server environment and also gather all of the uh, permissions. So many times questions come up about what is the architecture and how does SQL Secure actually perform these snapshots. So here is the architecture. It is a very simple product to install. Um, there is no service associated with SQL Secure. There's basically the SQL Secure console that you use to manage the product and there is a security model that goes along with the tool so you can secure different team members to see what they need to see or do what they need to do. There's also the back end SQL da uh, database repository. It's the SQL Secure repository. And so that gets installed directly on the SQL instance. And there is no specific service associated to SQL Secure. It leverages the SQL Server agent to be able to um, schedule the snapshot process and through the SQL agent jobs that it creates tied to individual instances, it will run on a regular basis and reach out and gather all of the objects and permissions and configuration details. So obviously because of that, SQL Express is not supported with respect to this particular tool. So switching over to my machine, here we have SQL Secure up and running. Here's the console component that you use to manage uh, SQL Secure. Um, as far as the architecture goes, again, there are no services. However, within the SQL Server agent, you'll find some jobs that are labeled appropriately. And you can see SQL Secure Collector job for my instance IDEA Prod VM. I also have a collector job for IDEA Prod VM Prod 2014. And we also have uh, the grooming job that is uh, relevant to the process of clearing out or cleaning out snapshots that get older than X number of days. And you can hold on to those snapshots as long as you require for audit purposes. So to schedule these jobs to run is very simple. We'll go into the console, select the instance that we want to um, set up the scheduling for snapshots, choose the properties, and then within the different tabs that we see within the properties, this is where we can define credentials, any filters on different objects that are not relevant to what we want to capture permissions against, any additional folders above and beyond SQL Server related folders and files that we want to gather permissions, and we also have the scheduling option. So this is where we will set up the daily, the weekly, the monthly scheduling, certain days of the week or even certain times of the day that the snapshot will take place. And by defining the schedule, an actual job gets created on the SQL Server agent and it will run on a regular basis. And when it runs, it's going to reach out remotely. There, again, there's no agent on the remote instance, so it will remotely gather the data uh, connecting either through the common, the standard SQL Server uh, port 1433 or a custom SQL port, whatever you have defined for that SQL instance. And for file system, registry key, and service configuration information, of course, that's going to be more of a related to RPC connectivity. So we'll want to make sure that we have the firewall ports open for 135 to get those objects if required for audit purposes. So again, just to reiterate, the uh, architecture is very simple. You have the console, you have the database on uh, Microsoft SQL Server backend, and it leverages the SQL Server agent to reach out and gather the snapshot uh, data for configuration, risk assessment, and all of the objects with their permissions across the different databases, tables, views store procedures and functions, all to be stored in a central, in, within that centrally located um, SQL Secure repository. So that concludes my explanation of the architecture. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can also download SQL Secure from www.idera.com. Um, there's also a, a different um, resources available out on our community site. Feel free to access that at community.idera.com. And other than that, have a great day.